with any other Adobe applications, you can change your preferences to the way you like the software to be like. So in order to do that, you simply go on to the edit menu or the in copy menu if you're using a Mac and then you go to preferences. So once you go to preferences, there are various options right here. Simply go to general and you'll have access to all. So you can reset all the warning dialog. So that's the general settings that is available right here. You can work around with interface and there's various options for the interface as well. So the basic one right here is you can change the color of the interface just by clicking it. So you want a dark theme or a light theme, it is up to you. There's UI scaling right here. So if you're using, let's say, high PPI displays, then you can go around and scale out your displays as well if your display is very low in number. And there's type option right here, advanced, advanced type options like superscript size, subscript size, and small cap size, and so forth. You can go around as well, and there's uh, composition options, there's units and increments right here for, um, uh, for like rulers and everything else as well. So right now, the size leading is two, so you got points just like this, so you want to change it into millimeters, you want to change that out just like that. So there's different options right over here, as you can see. There's also grid options right here, just like that. So this is something we looked at in the last lesson as well. There's the guide option, and right now it's magenta in color. So if you were to change that out right here, columns and everything else, then uh, it changes out right here, as you can see, just like that. So you can change the overall output with the preferences right here. So you can go around and change everything out. So you got the dictionary as well. You got the spelling options right here. Like you can find the misspell words, repeated words and uncapitalized words. So you can change this out as well. You can autocorrect, you can enable or disable this. You can go around with the notes and change the note color as well. The track changes color, well, which by default is red and black right here. And the galley and story view display. So you can change the text color as well. Let's say, for example, you want to change it into uh, grape color. Then once you go into uh, the uh, story view, you can see that it is the grape color. So just like that, there's a lot of options that you can work around with just like that. There's display performance as well. Like you can have high performance for raster graphics, high performance or like gray out right over here. So you can change the quality for each type of graphics that you import as well. And also you can work with the level of transparency and enable or disable anti-aliasing. That's like file handling right here. So by default, the recovery data is in this folder. So if you want to change that out and then use D drive or so forth, then you can do that from right over here. You can also go around here and then work around with clipboard handling just like that. So these are the options that uh, you can work with in the preferences section to make the software function as you would like and you have more control over in copy like that. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.